A reputed mobster, Anthony Russo, was found shot to death this morning. Russo is known to law enforcement figures and others by his nickname, Little Pussy. His body was found in his efficiency apartment at the posh Harbor Island Health Spa in Long Branch. Jeffrey Hall reports. Russo's body was discovered at about 9.15 this morning by a spa employee in Russo's fourth floor apartment where he'd been living for the last nine months. Authorities say the body was lying face up on the bed, stretched toward a view of the ocean, the same view seen from the room next door. Russo was 62. A preliminary autopsy report indicates he died from gunshot wounds to the head. Authorities say they don't have any suspects and won't talk about a motive. Mr. Russo's attorney said that a lot of uh, jewelry and a lot of cash was missing. Uh, would you speculate that the robbery might have been a motive? No, I wouldn't speculate on any motive, and I wouldn't even comment on anything that Mr. Russo's attorney might have said. Russo, a third-grade dropout, allegedly got his start in organized crime, chauffeuring for one-time mafia boss Vito Genovese. Police say Russo went on to become the mafia kingpin in Monmouth County, controlling the rackets along the Jersey Shore. But to an owner of the Harbor Island Spa, famous for its daily massages, Russo is an ideal tenant, well known among the staff for his friendly nature and generous tips. I saw him about three or four times a week um, in the lobby, and he was kind of a quiet man, had a really nice word for everybody. He was an excellent tipper to help liked him very much, and he was generally a very good tenant, paid his bills on time. Authorities say about the only substantial piece of property Russo left behind at the spa was his silver Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Perhaps the biggest mystery surrounding Russo is how he got his nickname. Insiders say Russo would tell everyone that they called him Little Pussy because they called his brother Big Pussy. In Long Branch, I'm Jeffrey Hall. Reputed mobster Anthony Russo was buried today as the investigation into his killing continued. There were a few mourners at the church this morning when the alleged kingpin of the rackets in Monmouth County went through his boyhood neighborhood for the last time. Jack Connerty reports. Reputed to be a member of the Genovese crime family and one of the most powerful mobsters in the state. Cameramen and reporters waited outside, along with a number of undercover police who were checking the identities of the mourners and taking their own pictures. But there wasn't much to see. A federal undercover agent says not one identifiable member of organized crime showed up for this service, and there were none in the funeral party. That's a sign of how far and how quickly Russo fell out of the mob's good graces. Russo died in his bed last Thursday in a room he rented here at the Harbor Island Spa in Long Branch. He had been shot in the head four times, a gangland-style contract killing. But authorities say they still have no leads to the identity of the killer, and the murder weapon has not been found. Russo grew up in this neighborhood, now dominated by the shells of public housing apartments built long after he left. The plaza here is called Ruggiero Plaza, named after mobster Ruggiero Richie the Boot Boyardo. But that was as close as Russo came to getting a mob acknowledgement of his death. An undercover agent we spoke to said the mob's absence at the funeral confirmed his suspicions that it was a contract killing. Russo faced federal indictments for loan sharking and profit skimming at a Las Vegas casino, and he was under pressure to talk, to name names and turn state's evidence. No one seems to know if Russo had begun to break, but it's obvious that someone thought he had or would. I'm Jack Connerty.